Hey, what's going on everyone? Michael back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to input multiple questions with multiple answers. So we have these three questions that can contain multiple answers. I'm going to show you how to input that into a SharePoint list with choices columns. So let's get started. My previous video, I showed how to do this only with one multiple choice question. You may have more than one. So let's go ahead and start adding these same step to the other questions. So we use the select statement, data operation. Then we wrote some JSON, custom expression. So it'd be JSON, parentheses, and the question you're totally on. So this one would be favorite food. Go ahead and press OK. I'm going to enter in the value and then also do item parentheses, nothing in it. It's going to pull the current item and then we will rename this to favorite food. Now I'll just create another one for the favorite music question. Again, JSON parentheses. And then you want to get the favorite music question. Press OK. And we want to enter in value in the map below for key. And then item. All right. All right, we have our three multiple choice questions. And we have our three actions right here. Let's go ahead and start adding the other values in. Let me save this and refresh it. Oh, I think I didn't use multiple choice columns on this these columns. So that was the issue. That's why it's not giving you this option here to switch to detail and puts for an array item. I need to make these multiple, allow multiple selections. So let's go ahead and change these. Press save. All right, let's refresh the flow. And there we go. So let's change these to detailed inputs for an array item. And as you can see, we have our three outputs down below. So this one's favorite food, this one's favorite music. Let's go ahead and press save. All right, let's test this out. Samara name, we'll do um, Joe. So Joe's just inputting some of his responses. Go ahead and press submit. Check to make sure our flow ran. It did successfully. And as you can see, it inputted the multiple choice questions with the multiple answers. So I think you will run into an issue. Let's say Joe only filled in two of these questions instead of three. So since they're optional questions, he doesn't need to fill in all three. I think it should shoot an error if he doesn't fill in this question. So let's go ahead and try it. As you can see, it failed because it was looking for the input from the question and it wasn't available. See, it threw a null value and it doesn't like that. So to get around this, you want to make your flow. You want to click on the triple dot on your select actions and figure run after. So we want this to run even if it failed or succeeded. So. You can check mark both those items and do this for the as many multiple choice questions as you had. All right, so all three of these questions and we'll even make it this one too. Actually, you need to do it on that one as well. All right, so all these steps will run even if they fail. So let's go ahead and retest this one. 
so Joe only submitted these two questions. He didn't submit any answers for multiple food. Go ahead and press OK. So as you can see, since it's still it still failed on this step, but it's like, OK, it failed, but we still have to continue with the flow because we changed the option there. And let's just double check to make sure Joe updated. And as you can see, Joe now has favorite sports and favorite music. So let's go ahead and just run another test case right here. We'll do this for Mike. So Mike only wants to fill out his favorite music. So let's go ahead and fill this on. Submit. Check to make sure it ran successfully, and it did. And as you can see, we have a new item in our shipping list marketing survey. I actually spelled survey wrong, I just noticed. <laughs> but we have a new item from Mike where he only filled in the favorite music. So that'll be the short little video for today. Um, Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. I put out Power Automate, SharePoint, and Microsoft Forms videos. So I'll be putting out more of those this week. And I'll catch you in the next one.